adding citation information to your EndNote web account can vary depending on where it is that you found your source. In this video, I'll show you how to import references found in several places frequently used by researchers at the CSB SJU libraries. To import a book citation from WorldCat Discovery, first look for the Cite button when viewing a source in the catalog. On the search results page, it will be in the bottom right corner of a result, while in the full book record, it will be in the top right corner of the page. Click on Cite and then click on Export to EndNote. This will download a citation file to your computer. Do not open the file directly or you will see an error message. Next, go to your EndNote web account and navigate to the Collect tab and click on Import References. Browse for the citation file you just downloaded from WorldCat Discovery, select it, and click Open. Now that your file has been selected, choose the Import option for RefMan RIS. If you have a specific group you would like to have the citation imported to, you can select that. Otherwise, selecting Unfiled works just fine. Finally, click Import. You should then see a notification saying that a reference was imported. You can now click on the link or you can navigate back to My References tab to view your newly imported citation. Once you have done a search in an EBSCO database and found an article you would like to use, click on the title of the article to view its full record. Navigate to the Tools menu on the right-hand side of the page and click on Export. In the Export Manager pop-up window, select the option for Direct Export to EndNote Web and click on the Save button. A new tab will open, taking you to EndNote Web. If you haven't already logged in, it will ask you to do so now. You should see a notification at the top of the page saying that a record was imported. Navigate to the My References tab to view your newly imported citation under the All My References list. It will also be in the Unfiled group on the left-hand menu. Once you have done a search in the PubMed database and found an article you would like to use, click on the title of the article to view its full record. On the right-hand side of the page, click on Cite and then, in the Citation pop-up window, click on Download to .nbib. This will download a citation file to your computer. Do not open the file directly or you will see an error message. Next, go to your EndNote web account and navigate to Collect tab and click on Import References. Browse for the .nbib citation file you just downloaded from PubMed, select it, and click Open. Alternatively, you can drag the file onto the Choose File button. Choose the Import option for PubMed NLM. If you have a specific group you would like to have the citation imported to, you can select that. Otherwise, selecting Unfiled works just fine. Finally, click Import. You should then see a notification saying that a reference was imported. You can now click on the link or you can navigate back to the My References tab to view your newly imported citation. To save citation information from sources found in a Google Scholar search, Start by finding and clicking on the quotation mark icon underneath a source on your results page. This is the Cite tool. In the pop-up window, click on EndNote at the bottom. 
This will download a citation file to your computer. Do not open the file directly or you will see an error message. Next, go to your EndNote web account and navigate to the Collect tab and click Import References. Browse for the .enw citation file you just downloaded from Google Scholar, select it, and click Open. Choose the Import option for EndNote Import. If you have a specific group you would like to have the citation imported to, you can select that. Otherwise, selecting Unfiled works just fine. Finally, click Import. You should then see a notification saying that a reference was imported. You can now navigate back to the My References tab to view your newly imported citation under the All My References list and in whichever group you selected on the left-hand menu. Before importing sources from Web of Science, Make sure that you already logged in to your EndNote web account. Once you have done a search and found an article you would like to use, click on the title of the article to view its full record. At the top of the article record page, click on the Export button, and then select EndNote Online. Next, select Author Title Source Abstract and then click Export. When you return to EndNote Web, you will see the source that Web of Science sent is now listed under the All My References list. It will also be in your Unfiled group on the left-hand menu. Thank you for watching this video on importing sources to EndNote Web. Make sure to visit our EndNote tutorial at guides csbsju.edu slash EndNote, where you can also find more videos on setting up your account, organizing your sources, and creating bibliographies and in-text citations. If you have questions or would like additional help, remember to ask a librarian. <music>